Yeah. Welcome back. It's another episode of AT Homegrown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Hope you guys had a shitty week. And uh, <laughs> wow. yeah, I was I'm hoping just, the worst upon him. I know. And we're we're. Do you think they'll notice? Because I'm already feeling the difference, and I just want. To oh. Move. Up the chairs. No, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you was gonna bring it up like that. But yes, yeah, I mean, you were just bringing it up. No, I was just insinuating. But that's crazy. <laughs> Aaron's over here dying. Do I got something on my face. He's <laughs> <laughs> looking to the camera. You might. You may have. I don't think I got nothing on my face. You did for a second, for sure. You had some like, yeah, yeah like a little crumb. On your on your on your lip there. I think we're good. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're <laughs> fucking good, I think buddy. We're kosher. Oh my god, this has mm. been the weirdest uh, start to an episode that I think we've had. Well, speaking of <laughs> shitty weeks, <laughs> <laughs> I heard you uh, went and seen Tom Segura this week. Nah, yeah, that was the, it was horrible. He he bombed like did, a fucking yeah. Did not do like good. a nuclear yeah. Every joke just was a little bit off, and it just didn't... No, I'm just fucking kidding. Yeah, that's not what you told me. No, yeah. <laughs> what did I tell <laughs> you exactly? It's fucking Tom Zaggy here. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Come on. Tom Zaggy Zora. Dude, we forgot to give me a fucking good arm back. <laughs> so this <laughs> arm is a little fucky. Did we? Well, it's good, because, you know, your eye and your C and your whole life is just... Yeah, I'm old. cockeyed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that what you're getting at? Okay. Yeah. But, uh... No, nah, Top Score was fucking awesome. I had never been to a live comedy show before and like going to the theater. They play in such fancy rooms. Yeah. I didn't know. Like, this shit was insane. It looked like Romans built like the an shit. opera. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is that where I would watch the opera? I feel like it. Yeah. The fucking lower deck and the upper deck. Shit was in the uh, middle intense. deck. Yeah, I, I seen it on uh, Tom Segura's Instagram story. Yep, you could have seen me if you I, looked at it. I was looking for you. I was in the left or on the right. Yeah, in his still, picture Still did not see you Yeah <laughs> Should have worn like no, a yellow No the shirt. show was funny man I'm not gonna it, And he had jokes like That were layered into like Seattle a little bit And like You know the the guy who got fucked by the horse Who we talked about Yes Mr. Hands yes. Yeah he did a bit about him Really Yeah it was good In the fucking Yeah in the show Damn I yeah. wish he could have Taken a video Ah uh, been... yeah I can't take any of those They were like You pull out they, Seven times Before the show even starts they got a, a Siri yelling at you. If you have your phone out during a performance, um, you will be escorted out. No warnings. And oh. so it was like, you need to make a phone call. You get out first and then you make the call. But I mean, it's an I w when I went, I was like, damn, I wish this shit was longer. I wish it was longer. But like they do, they, you know, they prepared our material. So it's like. So he only went for about an hour. Yeah, right. but I mean, it was nice. But there was the he had an opener too. The opener was pretty funny. He did some COVID jokes. Really? It, yeah, they were funny. I thought I was gonna laugh a lot harder. Really? But I I still laughed real good. You know? Did it hurt your face? No. Nah. No. Well, then you must not have laughed that good. No, it, it, but you know, at the same time, it was like it felt like these chairs and this coliseum as big as it is, you don't get a lot of fucking room. For your legs or nothing So I was like squished in And then this fucker right in front of me His head was just like right here So I had to like oh, wow. I was like sitting to the left Like peeking through And then <laughs> I was laughing It was funny I'd definitely do it again Like it was good uh, yeah. But better seats Better, better seats. seats Better seats for sure I want to be like right up there Because there was people fucking talking to him He was talking to the front people Oh yeah I was like oh shit Could have been me he said, talk to me, hey. I'm way the fuck up here. Been like, got a podcast. <laughs> got you want one. the shirt? I'll give you the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Just start. Can I give it to you? <laughs> no, but it was cool because I met a guy there, the uh, guy in front of me to the right. He. So not the guy with the big head? No, his friend. Okay. But see, I thought they had come with this guy on the very left, too, because we was on the aisle. So there was a bald dude and then two dudes with hair, and they looked to be friends. Right, <laughs> and the right. bald dude was sitting here like this. For most of it, and I didn't hear him laugh much because I was kind of paying attention. I was a little curious, like, what is he yeah, here what's for? What's up with this guy? Yeah, why is he here? And then out of nowhere, he gets up and walks out. And and then that led me to believe, maybe he's not with these fellas. Did he never come back? No. He didn't like the show? Maybe. Hmm. But it was like towards the end. Were they making fun of bald people? No. He, Tom <laughs> is bald, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? So, I don't know, but he got up and left. And this guy on the right, we was talking about um, before the show started, 
I had to pee, mm-hmm. and Misty goes, he has a podcast while I'm gone. Mm-hmm. And this guy, fucking apparent, she was like, oh, yeah, he has a podcast. That's the reason we're here. He's a big hero of my head. And mm-hmm. I was like, babe, stop. You're making me sound like a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had to, it was for real, check her in the hallway. Like, what's going That's but, awesome. Yeah, but no, I was talking to this guy, and we were, uh, we linked, I guess, informations. And uh, he does stand up comedy as well. He's only done he's done it a couple times, like not a couple, like a good amount of times. And he does it in the Everett area and stuff like that. He's from like oh, Stevens. Sure. But he was saying that um, I was like, damn, we'd have to chat, you know, because he's someone doing something. Someone doing something. <laughs> someone doing something. That that's what makes this shit real hard, guys. You guys want to come on, but it's like, what are you doing? You, no, offense. we gotta be able to like talk about what you do. Exactly, because uh, we gotta be able to like show it to to the people watching. Hey, and a lot of y'all been checking in. Keep tuning into that music video. It, it goes fucking um, hard. If it ain't your cup of tea, fuck you and drink a different cup later. You may like it. Let's get it to six hundred views. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. One k, one k likes. One k. We get fifty likes on that bitch, dude. No dislikes. No dislikes. None. Nah. As I a, think we're at like 22 likes right now. Let's bump her up. Let's get her to 50. I know. I keep telling this kid, too. Because what they don't <laughs> understand, bro, what they do not understand, promotion. Mm. Right. Right. I told this kid, I said, yo, AJ, send me a video of you, my boy. Send it to me of you just like promoting this stuff. Oh, I got I got that video. <sighs> you know, but, I, I've come at his neck twice now. Uh, I've come out of going, bro. The fire's gonna die if we don't get some promotion here. I I'm need dead. some promotion. Yeah. And it's been you. I think uh, it's been you. What the fuck are you doing in your room? I think. It- yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the it's fuck not- are you doing in your room? I'm sleeping. Because no, obviously not. Because AJXO sent you videos and you didn't send them over to this. Guy. I think it needs to redo it. You think so? Yeah. I mean, like it'll work. Well, no. We want the-, the best of the best. Yeah. You know. Because that's what we're about. That's what ETS Productions represents. It's the best of the best. The best of the best. But you know what else happened when I was uh, seeing Tom? I felt like such an adult. Let me just run you down the whole night, man. Like, we get, like, so I wake up. I'll start you off the morning. I wake up at 3, 3.30 in the morning. And I just yell vomit into the toilet for about an hour. The, the day of? The day of. Okay. Yeah. And I was supposed to work. Oh. At like 5.30. And I just wake up, yell vomit, <laughs> spicy ass, just bleh, bleh. same time, like fucking it up. And it was horrible. I didn't think, I was like, damn, did I catch vid right today? Wait, so you had the shits and the pukes? Yeah. Did you shit your pants while you were puking? No, I had to I had to keep the heartburn. You know, like I had to keep it at bay. So I could just <laughs> so I could just splatter paint and then turn around and flip her. But that you know how horrible that is? I was scared of pink eye wafting up. <laughs> that's, that's, how, awesome. that's how sad it was. <laughs> and I was sitting there holding the gut. You know, like when you hunch over and you hold your gut yeah. and you, that's when you feel the best. Yeah. <laughs> you give it a nice it's hug. Just, uh, <laughs> and you're like touching your knees, maybe <laughs> like back and forth shit. I always end up getting the chills. That's when I know like the fucking yeah, the cramps about to come in real good. But any I. I sat there, then I went back to bed, sweated my ass off for like an hour, then woke up again, just get, what stayed awake. I was like, fucking, I'm going to just uh, stay Had you up. called in to work at this point? Yeah, I called in at fucking, I think I called in at four, four o'clock. No, oh, okay. So, I, like, after just nonstop. After the first round of Yeah, this, nonstop. Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. I, to my surprise, somebody picked up. I thought I was going to be able to leave a message, and they someone picked up. <clears throat> That one dude, Steve, he be coming in at like three o'clock. Dude. Bro, you know it was funny. They they called your name over the announcements the other day. They was gonna give you a step. I said, bro, he he's not even here. <laughs> like they called Anthony Pierce out of the office. Did you pull up? Uh, no, but I did pull up because, oh, uh, what did I do? I think I fucking fucked up my something. I fucked up something, and I was going to get some bio freeze, and I walked into there, and I was like, you know, he don't work here no more, right? And they was like, what? Mm-hmm. And they were like. I was like, you called him, Anthony. And they was like, oh, Anthony, whatever last name, different than yours. And I was like, no, you called Anthony Pierce earlier. And they were yeah. like, oh, I remember now. It's all clicking. 
I was in the office because I didn't have a jack because there was too many people, but they didn't want to send me home. So they was like, hey, stand around. And then they found jacks somewhere. I don't know. I wish they found no jacks. No jacks. But yeah. I was standing in the office waiting, and I was like, you called my brother earlier. And that was he's not here anymore. And they're like, oh, yeah, how's Tony doing? <laughs> I was like, uh, fucking, you know. Work secu- I always say this. I go, he works at the cancer research place. And then they go, what? What? I'm like, yep, yeah, he makes sure it's secure. <laughs> he makes sure it's <laughs> secure. secure. Yeah. All night. <laughs> All night, baby. But yeah. And then, uh, yeah. oh, so then after that whole experience, wake up, start watching some movies, finish Squid Games. Did you? Mm-mm. Oh, we're going to ask you about it, though. No, yeah, we're going to talk about it. Right. What the fuck? No, no, how no far- spoilers. Well, no, I know, but how far? Watch the show. <clears throat> I don't give a... If you- Listen, I'm going to talk about the first probably three games. If you ain't seen up to the three games, I'm sorry. Skip skip to a forward. But What's the third game? Uh, the first one was... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The third game is with the... Uh, honeycomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, uh, 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 <laughs> That's the one. Did you see the marble game? Did not make it oh, that far. My boy. It gets so heart-wrenching and gut-ripping at should, the marble should game. Should we do our own squid games? No, no, that would be so. I I don't want to fucking. Like, like, I don't want to die. I don't want to <laughs> die. No, that shit would just be hard to formulate. You know, we'd have to get like uh, all. You know how well we are you, put you, together you now. Remember the mini games we were playing? We were talking about planning. Yeah, the drunk ones. Yeah, we yeah. Call, we'd just throw the word squid on them. <laughs> just call it that. No, bro, but yeah. Uh, I want to actually. <laughs> What'd you say, <laughs> Boyo? <laughs> I've never say been called. No, that. bro, but yeah. <laughs> That's not what you said. No, bro. You said you said this. You said no, bro, Boyo. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Never heard that ever in my life. Never said it. Um, Once this drops, you'll hear it. That's fucking insane, buddy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we. Then I uh, went to get the hotel. I ain't never gotten a. I got a hotel before. I ain't never got that before. So I was like, you know, like when you're doing something and then you're nervous, it's all gonna just fuck up the, right. while you're doing it. So right. like the whole drive over, I'm like, I right, I'm gonna get there. My age is gonna be because I'm like, you gotta be 21. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's how it works for most like hotels. And so I'm ex- surprised you got one. Yeah, I was ex- as surprised as well. But I I've registered before, so they already had my card and everything on file and all that shit. So. It wasn't no issue, but I pulled up and I hate Seattle because it's like where do you park? It's yeah, it's a building, and like the entrance is on a corner, and then it's a street. It's like what? So I had to find the fucking <laughs> parking lot, and then I had to get in it, and then I had to find a parking spot, and then once you're in the parking garage, there is no way to get into the hotel because all the elevators take the keys. So then you gotta walk all the way back around, diddly fuck. Sick. Yeah, super. But no, then we get some food in us, go get some mini shots in us, you know, get a little drunky poo right before. I, let the liquor you get talk. The mini shots? You get them at the fucking hotel? No, I put them out of that freezer over there. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That was probably, from, what, from Misty's birthday a year or two the, ago. Are you talking about the fireball? Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, it's horrendous, <laughs> buddy. Put <laughs> it in some Coca-Cola. <laughs> we, had like, we ended up throwing like four of them in the trash can because we were like, we have to get in. <laughs> like they opened shit and I was You should have just fucking dumped them in your drink. Uh, we can't take drinks in. No. Oh. Yeah. And like we, we, it was like we got food right before and then we're walking over cuz we I accidentally planned it out perfectly where the hotel was like 5 minutes away from the venue which was like 8 minutes away from the food. So but that's walking. So it's like I went over the bridge, down the way, got some food, then went back up straight, and there was the venue. There you go. Yeah, and the line was crazy. <coughs> Fucking get in there. The opening act, he was cool. Fucking the, Tom killed it. He had a joke about fucking uh, his his son and him in the shower. And, like, his son was like, Daddy, why is your penis so big? <laughs> <laughs> and why is mine so small? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, explain it to yeah. him and shit. It was That's good. Awesome. He's like, because I'm a fucking man. <laughs> and you're not. <laughs> I, I can definitely see that. Yeah, and he was talking about how his son keeps calling him Tom. What was you, <laughs> <laughs> I think that shit's the best, bro. What you going to do? Your, your son walk in the house, five years old. What up, Tony? <laughs> like, I'm going to be pissed off. Yeah, hey, who genuinely. Who are you talking to? Yeah. <laughs> you motherfucker. I was talk, talking to Misty the other day, bro, and I was like, I was out of nowhere. I was just going, we can't do it. It's your mom's fault. Like, I, I was like, 
your mom said no. We can't do it because your mom said no. Well, and she was looking at me and she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm practicing for when you have to be the bad person. <laughs> <I'm dead. laughs> mom said no we can't do it and you can't do it i'm sorry but then i was telling her i was like but if there's like a life m- moment like it's monumental like first kiss status type shit right and we're just not gonna because we're like you no know, fucking let the boy <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. let the boy shine you know? <laughs> what if it's a girl Fucking stay at home, bitch. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Let her shine too. I just, you know what it is. Someone yeah. told me this once before. It's like, it's like a house. Okay, when you get, when you have a daughter, it's, it's you bought a house almost, right? But when you have a son, you bought a burglar. Okay. <laughs> okay. You understand? Burglars are in and out in the night. Right. Right. A house is up all day. People, and and you know what likes to do in the night. Burglars, okay? So I'd much rather manage a burglar than a house that gets burgled a lot. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> that's just where I'm at. I am nervous. <clears throat> I'll be a good dad, but I'm nervous for a daughter because I was a hoe and her mom was a hoe. Um, that just it's a bad that jeans. doesn't breed <laughs> white. It doesn't breed right. right. You know, my daughter's going to be like that. You have a son. I'm having like anxiety about that shit already. Like I'm thinking about it. Like I'm gonna have to kill kids. You said kick chest through back. I'll be the only parent (laughs) back in heat at fucking kindergarten. What's up, punk? (laughs) Like what's up? (laughs) You want to get shot in the fucking face? Yeah. Move along. (laughs) Move along. Nothing to see here. Oh yeah, but that was a good night, man. And bro, it, it. the whole night didn't even end yet. Like we was after we seen the show, we go back to the hotel. We drink this nasty ass fucking champagne. Misty wanted champagne, and we got like rose champagne or some shit. Did you have your mom stock up on the alcohol for you? Yeah, well, I should have had her get more. I only got the one bottle. Uh, well, Ro- t- uh, from champagne. what I hear, you guys didn't even fucking kill everything you got. No, I still have some Jim Bean apple, but mm-hmm. no, we got some uh, that to begin with. Then I was like. And I brought dabs with no banger, like fuck, right? Yeah, all fucked. Brought the rig, brought the torch, brought the the even the tool, dabs and everything. No banger, because I took it out and I set it so I could wrap it individually. Didn't did did Sam bring one? Yep. Okay. So so that was the main focus. Was like, all right, Tony Aaron at work. How do I get some highness in me right now? <laughs> I called Sam. He was like, Yo, what's going on? Oh, yep, yep, bad, yep. Uh, yep, I'm on the way. Finding that way. Like, he was down for it right from the moment I opened my lips and was like, I have a hotel. He's like, oh, on the way. Like, figuring it out. And yeah. I, I was like, all right, I'll cash out you some money. How did you get over there? Tyler. Tyler. Oh, Bonham. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you Tyler bought him. Tyler scrote him. <laughs> scrote him. I haven't heard that since like the fifth grade. Really? Yeah. Wow. Shout out to you, Tyler. They were able to drop that like quickly. No, oh, yeah. This guy Sam gets no stickies, and y'all just drop scrotum. That's pretty. Oh, get it? Drop scrotum. It's like, <laughs> his balls retarded. dropped, bro. You, yeah. I get it. I get it for sure. But nah, Sam pulled through with this fucking. It's pretty much just a long ass down stem. Right. And I'm hitting out the bull piece end. And the down stem, we're heating up the bottom of oh, the yeah. down stem. I seen that at his house the other day. Yeah. yeah, that's what we was doing in the hotel room bathroom, fucking getting fucky. <laughs> <laughs> and then we killed a whole bottle of fucking Svetka. I'm I'm watching this fucking movie, staying awake, sitting in a chair too. Oh, you should have never put on that movie. The movie stayed on. It was there. It was there from the you beginning. Fell, you fell asleep. No, watching that movie at like three in the morning. Though I, I held out. Okay, I held out. All right, all right. And I and remember, I had woken up at three that same morning, oh. vomiting and throwing up. So give me some fucking credit. <laughs> all right, okay? all right. I hold twenty four of them, and I was dying <laughs> at the beginning. Okay, fuck okay. you, going to discredit me. <laughs> fuck, I didn't even throw up. You know what? I got my three hours of sleep, woke up for fucking continental breakfast, went down there, it was surprised they don't do fucking waffles for your boy, or <laughs> sausage for damn straight. Free? Not me. Fuck. <laughs> and then I get there, and you know what? We're eating, we're eating, babes is eating, eating. And then out of nowhere, she's like, and I was like, whoa. And she's like, get a cup. And she just in a cup. Did she fill it up? No, no, we had 
Sam had orange juice. I had a uh, full thing of ice water. He goes, do you need me to kill it? This guy hasn't been to sleep, and he killed the rest of this Fedka and almost damn near the whole Jack, so he's, like, fucked up right now. <laughs> and he's like, I'll kill it. And he starts, go- like, big gulping <laughs> these fucking orange juice, bro. Like, <laughs> like big-ass gulps. And then he's like, Ooh, you got to finish it, man. It's too cold. And then I'm like, all right, swap. Here's the water. And then he's like, I'm trying to just continue. And then we get them empty and she just, and because we're in the elevator. I was like, do it in the fake plant. But she's like, this is a nice place. I was like, all right. So then we're getting up. And then I couldn't get, when we get there, the first, I couldn't get the buttons to work. I couldn't. Nice. And then it was like, oh, key card. Need Scan it. your key card. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> took three people. <laughs> took three of them. <laughs> Sam said, hold on. Let me figure this out. <laughs> no, I'm talking three workers, bro. I oh. kept, I was like, hey, the elevator don't work. And they were like, oh, try a different one. And I was like, oh, okay. So this happens regular. And then, so I tried the next one. That one obviously wasn't still working you for still me. Need the key card, right? <laughs> <laughs> so then I asked another person and I was like, it's, this was not working either. They were like, well, take the stairs. You know what I mean? Like, no one just came and was like, key card, you know? I feel like most people just know that. And you know what? I had to use the key card to open the damn stairs. So like, That's kind of what gave you the clue. But huh? it made sense where the fucking thing was in the on the, on the the door compared to the elevator. Was it above the button? <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> No, okay. That makes no fucking sense for that to be there. Where would it be it was on the like door? A, it wasn't even a square. It was like a like fucking rounded rectangle. It was bullshit. Okay, yeah. but I don't need none of your shit. All right, you can't even get a hotel room because <laughs> what? Because because you didn't think you were old enough. And I'm gonna show you. I want to show you this clip that that I recorded of Hogan the other day. The, oh my god, this shit was good. Let's see. It. And we'll play it for the people too. It's a scream recorded <laughs> from our um, from our FaceTime the other day. It was fucking bonkers. I think you told me about this. I told him I was gonna play it too. It doesn't record sound, but just look. <laughs> you junkie man. <laughs> he's really not though just when he sits over like that oh, he's yeah. very folded <laughs> that's awesome isn't he's it he's just going crazy with it yeah and he was singing a song that was the best thing it, yeah he was singing a song that he was like <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome and then he was trying to tell me that song really existed and it was like a rock song and I was like mm, I don't mm, know mm. Oh, Aaron's peacing out. Everyone say bye to Aaron as he passes by. <laughs> Is that a good word? Yeah. Can you put that sound that goes, yay, because we're losing you? We should. Let's see some fifth grade edits, right? No. <laughs> Imagine. Stars. Imagine. Um, 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 <gasps> so, you know, there's a website paying people $7,000 to watch every episode of The Simpsons. What? Yeah. <laughs> and there's a weekly box of donuts included. I don't know how many weeks it's going to take somebody to watch that shit, but... Is it like the first the first one to do it all? First all the way up until, what, no, I'm 716. Sa- so I'm saying, like, are they doing, like, the first person to complete it all gets all that money? Or all these people that are... Can, I think they're is only this hiring, like, a fucking like a couple science people. event? I think they're, they're only hiring a couple oh, that's people. That's fucked. You should You want to know why they're doing it? There. To predict the future? To predict the future. Is it really? Yeah. You're lying. 100%. What? They want to know what the future holds. So I bet watching. you this is just some super <clears throat> rich personal guy who doesn't have like no government funding or nothing. It's just he's rich and he's like, I want to know. I now. think it's like a gaming website that's like hosting it. That's fucking crazy. Uh, that's crazy. And it's what? $1,000 an episode? $7,000 for the whole thing. For the whole thing? Yeah. Wow. So that's like less than $10 an episode. Well, yeah, you're making literal. Well, no, because how long is an episode? Like 20 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking an hour. That'd be shitty hourly. No, but... yeah. But I guess that's like almost $20 an hour. But to do something like fucking sit there and watch The Simpsons <laughs> with some fucking donuts, it's a weekly box. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You've mentioned it twice, man. It's some yeah. enthusiasm. No, my, my whole thing is like... They have to be the Homer donuts, obviously. Those are the they're really only delivering ones. them once a week, you know? 
Like, you're going to have them donuts the first day, and then six days of just fucking dry street. And then fucking there's donuts. the donuts, yeah. Yeah. You know what's going to be shitty is, like, do they just send you one donut, or is it like a no, box a of box. donuts? And it, okay, I don't eat the whole box of donuts. You know what I mean? I'm not that guy. Not Are first, you that guy? Not in the first fucking day. <laughs> I thought you were about to say go around. I was like, yeah, I can see it. Two days, I, I, could, I could do it in two sittings, you yeah. know? Like, Oh, I mean, like, it, you're going to be sitting the there for two days. Too, you know? They're nice and warm, fluffy even. Then you got to eat them while they're still good. <laughs> you know food's good, bro? When you go, <laughs> when you're eating it. <laughs> it's like, spitting curses under your breath. <laughs> yeah, like, you know. <laughs> fucking idiot. That's fucking good. That was what you got in this. Pa- what else you got in this little paper book of yours? Um, there. I, I want to know how much football you've watched this season. I've watched. You and you know, I watched. I want to know. Fourteen games. Fourteen games. Yeah. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. I've watched two games. Yeah. And a little bit of two games. Yeah, I've not watched like any football this season. Oh, you really do have the fucked arm. But you know, football this season. Russell Wilson got hurt. I'm not really a big fucking Seahawks fan, but I know a lot of names on the team. Right. He got hurt, so it's like, you know, mm, we'll we'll see what's happening over there. But I don't really care for football that much anymore. You know, like yeah. I was never that guy that watched it. Like I don't, I I never knew the names of players. I don't know who gets traded to who. I don't know. I knew like the names of players, like the year that Seahawks was doing like really good. Oh yeah, and like they were yeah. all just superstars. You know. Yeah, when they had the Legion of yeah. Boom. Now that all they got is like Russell Wilson and like Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett's and filthy. And DK Metcalf. Yeah. Well, say it one more time. It DK Metcalf. He's the fucking tall motherfucker. Okay. I thought like, you said King Cade Medcap. That's why it didn't sound right. Yeah, no. I, you know what? Misty <sighs> says I'm tonight, and, you know, I didn't hear it right. And she was like, are you going deaf? And I was like, I don't think so. Like, maybe, though. I, I, I don't, you always be hearing shit wrong. Always, always, bro. I'm always hearing shit wrong. I've yeah. never heard it right. I don't understand. You I know think, what you should do? What? You should be like, huh? Instead of guessing what they said, <laughs> instead of That's just fucking guessing. <laughs> That's the fun. I practice my improv there. Maybe you, you go whisper, whisper, and I go, what'd you say? Tuna fish salad? What? <laughs> you know? Like, that, what? It just, it just fucking. Is, that was the whole whispers. <clears throat> Bro, it's Halloween. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let's go. Not. What were you going to say? I wasn't going to say shit. Good just... shit coming. All right. Um, I'm going to try to pronounce this word, but then I'm going to tell you what it means. All right. Ante de mm-mm. okay ambidextrous anatidophobia anti anatidophobia what you know what this means uh huh what because you told me before no I've never told you this yeah. well, what do you think it means let's hear that yeah I'm interested oh it's the fear of something beards is that what yes, you yes yes yeah, that's because, not it oh uh, but that I've told you that yeah, one before yeah did what this was is, that one do you remember what that f- phobia was though what it was called. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "I can't wait, bro, till we're making our own sound effects." Like, I could do that. You know, how would you make a paper? So we just record some. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "I would take the paper yeah. in front of the mic and I would <laughs> move it." <laughs> in yeah, a I bunch. don't know where I wrote that shit down. Okay, well, anyway, 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 <clears throat> what is it? It, no, hold up. Let me. Can I take a couple guesses? Yeah. Can you give me like a realm? Like a realm. Like it has something to do with animals. Okay, that's yeah. good. Um, the fear of uh snakes. Nope. No, nope, because I would be an arachnophobia. Nope. Um, that's <laughs> fucking spiders. <laughs> so. so that would be a snakeophobia. Got it. <laughs> Slitherphobe. <laughs> no, no. That sounds like a dirty priest. Okay, <laughs> Slitherpho, come here, please. Uh, fucking <laughs> the fear of dogs. No, is it something like you're, you're generic not like that? Yes. No, no well, it's not it's, generic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not generic. No. Fear, let me let me, let me pronounce it again for you. The anatidophobia. <laughs> it's a fear of frogs. Nope. Can you use it in a sentence? This motherfucker <laughs> got anatidophobia. <laughs> um. Fuck, that's a good one, buddy. Cause I have no idea. Um, right, let me let me just tell you how it's spelled. Write it down. 
fuck it. It might be able to get a little feel uh, for it. All right. All right. So it's A N A T I D A E phobia. P H O B I A. Why did you whisper that? Because <laughs> I figured you might be able uh, to spell it. The fear but... of ants. No. The fear of. Oh, that's good. No, this sucks. What the fuck <laughs> am I afraid of? It's the fear that somewhere, somehow, there's a duck watching you. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying. Uh, I promise you it's a real How thing. How the fuck was I going to get that from writing it? He said, <laughs> spell it out, I help you. What? Because I feel like my pronunciation wasn't doing any, <laughs> any justice, you know? That's fucking great. Wow, there is a duck watching you. Yeah. Some fucking where. So, somehow. Oh, wow, that's good, buddy. Um... I so, so, oh, all that just—it's a uh, pogonophobia. Is the fear of beards, beards, beards? Yeah. Where are you finding these fears? Like uh, you just googled fear of duck looking at you somewhere? No, actually, I was just scrolling through like a uh, Instagram, and they wanted me to know that <laughs> that's what that's what you call the fear of ducks watching you. Wow. Mm. 160 countries <laughs> <laughs> celebrate Christmas. Turn it off. Or is it the Out trivia of, uh, button? 190 countries. That means. What? I think there's 195 countries. But there's 35 countries that don't celebrate Christmas. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And they're all in Europe because they fucking hate everything. Well, I'll tell you that. Never seen a happy Russian. I was surprised to hear that there's 160 fucking different countries celebrating this shit. I thought it was only like a USA, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like red and blue. Yeah, you know and white. I mean? Well, yes, well, you know. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> you know? I thought Santa for the longest time. Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus. I thought he, like, went. I thought, like, people, like, adults always knew about him. You know, I thought he was just like high fiving and slithering around <laughs> with the adults when I was young. You know, like I thought, because you remember the Santa tracker? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was real. Yeah. How did they get that info unless they were linking yeah, with unless the they Unless they had his information, right, right. writing it down. So, you know, around Christmas and time, you always get a little. They, they would tell you, they'd be like, yeah, I have make, his number. make a list. I'll give it to Santa Claus. Yeah. I'm like, Are you going to give it to him? And I'm going to follow you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And I never saw her leave her room after I gave her the letter. Exactly. 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 And guess what? Christmas Eve, that was still fucking right there. And you know right who there. wasn't there on Christmas? My fucking dad. <laughs> hey -oh. Ever. Hey, oh. I had my dad there for a few Christmases, but he didn't really have nowhere else to go, so my mom was like, ah, come on. You know what? And you say I had our dad more. <laughs> and you say I He's not fun had to have around during Christmas. He doesn't like it. He's all <laughs> depressed and shit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I saw him lately. And, Did uh, you see him lately? He looks fat. He's getting bigger. No. Nah. He's a, my dad, <clears throat> I love him. He's a shapeshifter. <laughs> give it, give it a couple of months, and he'll be a fucking skinny again. A whole new shape, whole new man. Right. And he's still growing out the hair. I asked him when I seen him. I was like, "Yo, did you just grab grease off the dipstick and slick it back? Because it looked weathered." <coughs> we need to get him on again. Yeah, he wants to come on again. He said he's been working on some shit. So uh, we'll what see. What the fuck does that mean? You know. <laughs> what He's somewhat of a stand-up comedian himself, so I. That's crazy. You asked that. I didn't ask anything. <laughs> so. That's crazy. You you told me that because <laughs> the last time I seen him, uh, which was the morning after Missy threw up in the cup. Right. We went to Denny's, had some breakfast, and I seen him, and I was like, "Yo, when are we gonna do this podcast?" Right. And then I told him, I was like, "The shirts that I have in mind of you." It's going to be crazy. I want to do his head, uh, like a big head with his little ass body, like a little fat body, you know, with a little gut, right. all his tattoos or whatever. And then him just holding up a big ass rubber butt with legs, but yeah. like not like real legs, but like legs that just look like flat Stanley's legs with feet. Okay. Yep. It's, Kill got, it. it's got legs. Yeah, okay. it's got legs okay. <laughs> and then you can like attach it to the fucking <laughs> vanity, you know, like just whoosh. <laughs> fucking vanity Boom boom boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm gonna I wanna get hit The mandarin lotion In his back pocket I think that would be oh, killer That would be awesome 
And then if you haven't go watch episode three with our father, he was killer on that one. There's another episode. Can't remember. Like it's later. Number. Yeah. It's like uh, 22. 20. Do you know we did way more podcasts here than we did in our last house? Yeah. So far. So far. We got to go back and do some there. <laughs> Even it out. Even they were out. No, but um, there's a theory. You know, if we get this video, yep, to fifty likes, yeah, huh? we're gonna make a fucking pumpkin barn. You, you, are you asking me? No, I'm telling you. Oh, say it to me with some enthusiasm. Let's go. <coughs> there, like get your whole. Yeah, body language is everything. <laughs> Bro, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna gong us in. All right, all right. Do you remember what you're saying? Cause I don't. Here we go. <laughs> Bro, you know we get this video to 50 fucking likes. If they stop what they're doing right now and they go hit that like button, and we get 50 of them bitches, <laughs> of them we're gonna bitches. make a whole fucking bong out of a pumpkin. You know what? Right. And I want to throw some fucking shit to make it go boom after. Right. Yes. We take a dab out of it too, just for shits and gigs. Oh. Yeah. Get a yes. smaller pumpkin. Go like one. the fucking fucking thing. Let's go get like it. To it. Fucking fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about this. So let's talk about it. How would that even happen? Like, a, I've never seen a fucking pumpkin bong. Oh, so you go to carve it, right? Yeah. Cut the Cause top it's a, off. You scoop it out. It's gotta be. It's gonna be fucking thick, right? Like it's gonna be circular. Well, it doesn't have to be like... Super. We can get like a gourd. Is that what you're saying? Like what? a gourd? We can get like a gourd. What? And then... Pause. <laughs> what the fuck's a gourd? It's like a pumpkin, but it's like long. Uh, that's it's not... Like a gourd. They don't have a term for that. No, it... it oh, I was going to say Aaron. Google <laughs> gourd. Aaron's you know what? Aaron. Aaron, put a gourd up on the screen. Th this is a gourd. It's like a fucking... It's like yellow, maybe green sometimes. Uh, see, that's going to be hard to scoop out though. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> so maybe something more round, but not like stupid round, you know. And then you just, scoop it out and, and then pour water. You pour water in it, yeah. And then I think Down instead sink. of using the full fucking thing and putting your face in there, <laughs> we just make a little hole right in the top and fucking use that as a mouthpiece. And then a carb over here. You could put a. It's carb. like a bassoon, bro. We're gonna be fucking playing a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be fucking hitting a beach ball. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be super sick. Ah, get it to fifty likes so we can try it and 50 blow it up. Fifty likes within the next uh, couple of them because Halloween's almost over. Yeah, bro, it <laughs> literally is, and that's crazy because I was gonna talk to you about some killer stuff. Some killer stuff. Yeah, some killer topics. Like Jason Machiavelli. Uh, who I, don't, is Jason I don't think Machiavelli? that's it's a real person though. Gotta really? Be. I think every, every time <laughs> I, I was so. watching the movie, they're like Jason. I was like Machiavelli. <laughs> and I was like, where, like, where your, am I pulling this? Like from? out of your breath or something? <laughs> no, just in my head. I'm just like, Look, it's Jason Machiavelli that's over crazy. here. <laughs> I didn't hear it yeah. in your head. And then nobody did. <laughs> well, usually I can. Oh. So, are you shutting me off? Huh? Are you shutting, shutting me out? you out? I'm putting yeah. the divider in the fucking <laughs> in the brain stream. department. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. But no, I did learn a lot recently about fucking Jason, and he has hands down so far because I haven't watched the others. He's my favorite killer. Okay, I like um, what is his name? The Freddy? Nope. Mike. Michael Myers. You like him? Uh, Why? I think I I guess story's cool. He escaped like a fucking uh. Insane asylum. Insane asylum. Yeah, do you know why? Fucking, why he escaped? No, why he was there. Oh yeah, because he fucking killed a bunch of. He killed his whole family. And yeah, the kids walking home. It's like a six year old. Yeah, yeah. That's the movie that came out in two thousand eight. It explained that. I never watched like the old ones, but like the two thousand eight one. Oh yeah, that one sets you straight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the best one because I don't like the old shit because it just doesn't look as realistic. Eh? What it's actually yeah more realistic. But like, <laughs> if you think about it, because yeah. that's actually real shit, and so, what you're watching is fake. So so, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, the cool thing about fucking Michael Myers is there's not a lot of CGI. CGI, no. They don't need it because he, he's just a guy in a mask with a knife. Exactly. But Jason well, would totally fuck him up. I'm not hearing it. Mm -hmm. Especially where Jason's at now, superpowers and all. Superpowers and all. He doesn't keep the superpowers. He has to. Uh, have you ever saw Freddy vs. Jason? No. Didn't have superpowers then. <laughs> Was he a zombie then? No. So that's weird. 
isn't it? I we got to see how that progresses. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know because this whole... Uh, your dog, bro. Could could have totally thought <laughs> she was locked up until just now. Yeah, but now she's really making it known she is not. Yeah. But no, uh, Jason, bro, over the time... Like, the first movie, he wasn't even the killer. His mom was. Right. The second movie, he was a killer with a bag on his head. The third movie, he was a killer, then got that ski mask from a kid he killed. Yeah, Wore the it. fucking fat kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fat kid, bro. With the fucking Jufro. And then someone axed him in the fucking head, and he was unconscious for a little bit, and then woke back up, started killing people again. Bro, he and took then, that one slice and dies down the goddamn. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how he doesn't survive. Yeah, so, like, he, he didn't die, and then he became a zombie. Right. And then now he really can't He's immortal. Die. I mean, like, you got to think about it. He already fucking died. But he did he die. Drowned. Yeah, but he died again. Yeah, and then again. He just keeps dying, huh? Yeah. Uh, but he keeps coming back. It's fucking Jason. It's fucking... Jason Machiavelli. No. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Jason Voorhees. 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 No, Voorhees. Voorhees. That's what his name is. But he, yeah, bro, it's fucking insane. Probably I only watched it because I've been I got hooked on this show called uh, the films that made us, right? And they go into like detail about like how the movies and the making of and how it was all put together and, and shit. It's all like OG ass movies. Mm-hmm. That's why. And like I watched one about Forrest Gump, like fucking Tom Hanks had to put up like 1.5 of his own money because the studio was trying to cut it. 1.5 mil. Yeah, no, of his own bad. money, bro. And because I that's mean, just because he investment. loved the story. Him and the director did that uh, because the studio was trying to cut the funding because they were like, nah, bro. Did you know that the story of Forrest Gump actually had like Forrest, uh, for one, was a 300 pound black man in the book? Yeah. Is it is it the it's book based called on, Forrest Gump? Yeah. Okay. It's called Forrest Gump. But the book like isn't as good, I think, as a movie, obviously, well, because in the mo- in the book, he fucking goes to space. He's a professional sumo wrestler or some shit. Either right. sumo or regular. He has a fucking pet sidekick chimpanzee that just hangs out with him. The way they <laughs> fucking flipped it. But it took like 10 years to get Forrest Gump made from when it was first written. Not book form, but script form. Right. Yeah. Fucking all that shit, bro. That's intense. You know the first, though, Mike Myers, that they made? They only had a $300,000 budget to make it. Did they, how much did they gross off of it? Uh, like, gross. Like $283 million. Oh, yeah. They made their money back. Yeah. Some yeah. crazy shit. And then, you know, the franchise of Halloween, how many of those are? Right. Didn't Halloween come out before, Jason? Yep. Okay. What was funny is the in the thing I was watching, they were like, Halloween came out. And when it came out, it only dropped in like one or two movie theaters to begin with because it was a small company publishing it. And then, you know, it eventually got some kick. Like the first night it was out, they sold like, uh, I think it was like 80 percent or like and then the next night they sold like 100 percent. Then the next night they sold 100 percent. Then the next night more people were coming, more people were coming, more people were coming. Because then at this point they're releasing it in like hella different places. Yeah. And then it's starting to build up. But when so then um, the people who made uh, Friday the 13th, they were like, how can we rip off this movie? How how can we how can we rip off? Yeah. Halloween. Oh, wow. Literally. Like if you watch it, he was like, so. We're gonna need some girls and some teenagers. Right. We're gonna need a prior Sex. conflict, something that happens before. Right. That's what creates our killer, you know. And then we need um, murders during sex. Right, yeah. Literally, what they said: sex murders during drugs. sex. Yeah. Right. But they don't really do a lot of drugs, but we. I, mean, I feel like that's later weed. on in the fucking yeah. horror film industry, right? Era. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. Well, it is good, man. Like it's it's crazy to think that this is the shit right here that we've been watching that had me horrified my whole life well, because we, of I you. Mean, we never really watched that old old shit, you know. When, which is Freddy versus Jason probably like a bit scarier just because it's like newer or what? When did that one come out? I mean, it was probably just scarier because you were a kid. Yeah, that too. But I mean, yeah, it, probably the effects were better. It was more bloody for sure. Yeah, but. Uh, Oh, and it was it wasn't just fucking Jason, it was Freddy and Jason. So it kind of makes it How spooky. do they fucking fight? Does Jason have to go to sleep to fight him? 
you're gonna have to find out. I don't, honestly, I haven't seen it since I was like a fucking. But kid. like, imagine that. That that's a cool ass concept and all. But I don't understand how the fuck they fought if Homeboys is in his dreams and then Jason is, you know. Maybe Jason goes into a coma or something. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. I think I remember a scene where he's in a van. And they're driving him. And they're like, "We need to keep him." The kids all have Jason in a van. I remember uh, this. I don't doubt it. I don't remember it. Though. No, I think I do, man. I think I fucking do. Remember? Yeah, I do. Aww. But when I was thinking about all these murderers and murderous shit, I was talking right. to a buddy at work, and I was like, "So, like, was this shit actually scary?" And he was like, "Bro, my friends and I couldn't sleep for like a week after watching Nightmare on Elm Street when it first came out. Like, people were scared to go to sleep because they thought Freddy was gonna get them." Well, you gotta think they'd never seen anything like that never. before. Never. Yeah. And I was like, did the people actually talk like that? And he was like, oh, Valley Girl style? And like, dude and bro and yeah. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. And like, yep, that's how it was back in the 80s. Jeez. I was like, so it's not corny. It's just the era. And he's like, yeah, the era well, was corny. You Eugene. Talking, Eugene. Yeah. Eugene. I'm fucking yeah. Yeah. And he was, he told me, he gave me one to watch. And then, you know what else he told me? He said, we was talking about homeless people. It was like, he, I was like, you know, I give him what I can. He's like, I don't give him shit. They're like a stray dog. You feed him once, they keep coming back. They <laughs> learn not to get a job. And I was like, okay. And he was like, these people around here, they don't want to work, and that's what's wrong with them. And I was like, I get you. You sound right. real left right now. <laughs> he was like, they have missions up there where you can, like, it gives you, like, a, an address, a number, and all that shit for a job. Right. And they just don't do it. And I was like, I see. <clears throat> I get you. And he's like, but someone's killing them all. And I was like, what? <laughs> He's like, the word is, is that there's a murderer going around and killing all the homeless around the area. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, and the cops don't really care because it gets pushed under the rug because it's just a homeless guy. Right. Right. And then while he's saying it, he gets real close. And I was like. You fucking did it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, no. Nah, not me. Because he, he was like, I fucking hate him. Yeah. And I was like, what they do to you? Man? Like, <laughs> yeah. Something, there's some drama there. There's some drama, and I'm going to dig at it slowly oh, with God. a knife. And But it was funny. I ain't never seen someone get so intent. And it was like, he was like, because we was talking about the little camp off the freeway. Right. I was like, I don't get how they ain't got tear gas or nothing yet. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. There, and it looks disgusting as shit over there But it's like you, you could take a shit on the sidewalk People don't care right. Except I When I lived in Portland I found shit on the sidewalk But I ain't never seen the culprit I ain't never seen a mid shit And I always wanted to For real I feel like I've seen I want to see someone mid shit I've seen somebody in Everett Taking a shit on the side of a building Just like as I was driving by I think I was with you Oh uh, was it a guy with like long hair kind of honestly i barely seen it but like whoever was in the car with me they were like bro this guy was just taking a shit i was like <laughs> that's what he was doing up against the <laughs> building bro that you gotta be down or bad to be taking a shit like that because you know yeah. he didn't have the proper wipes right then he just said oh god yeah gotta go you know he probably just left the mcdonald's after they told him he couldn't use the bathroom too oh, fuck dude could you imagine getting denied the bathroom I'll be like, all right, I'm going to shit right here on the floor. I know you all you got would, napkins would, in here. You would. You would. And I know that. Uh-huh. You would. You would, And you would yeah. stay there right until you saw the cops pulling up because you're a luck pusher. <laughs> you'd bring, yeah, you would. You'd, you'd be like, and eh, no, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> like, there, there, those boys are right around the corner. Gotta yeah. go. And be like, officer, someone in there. <laughs> and then you just keep walking. Uh, yeah. For sure. And make a bong, you know. Fucking, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are, we're uh, fucking forty-eight minutes into a podcast. I have something to show you. you can fucking enunciate it. <laughs> I, I thought you were just fucking. What? What did you think I was fucking just doing? Scrolling what? through the talk. No, I kind of. There's a talk to show you. It, it was okay. It says answers. <laughs> what? Gross. No. <laughs> it was. You farted. No. Answer 16 questions in 60 seconds challenge. Okay? That's a lot of questions. It is a lot. Okay. We're going to do it. But this guy, pa- this guy Peyton's answering as well. So wait, so are we also answering? Yes. Okay. What's your name? Ethan. Where are you from? Everett. You're not from Everett. 
<laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> Five thirty. I don't know. <laughs> no. no. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Am I? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Four. Three. Yes. No. no. France. <laughs> I, I hated that. Those were just so pointless. I know. Just random question. How'd you do? Like, I don't fucking know. Like, <laughs> I didn't know. Was like, oh, what? You know? Are you? You know? When they say how you do, that kind of implies you could have done bad, and I don't understand where I would have like, went wrong could, there. Yeah. How could you have answered any of those questions wrong? Wrong. You know? Yeah. So, so things Tony be doing in his room, okay? Shit in the bed. <laughs> You, did you talk about how you found the dead cat? Oh no! You smushed it, like, or no? You found it so, smushed. No, no, no! I've seen my dog like fucking with some shit under the bed, so I lay down and I, I look over to fucking see what she's look fucking with. But like, I laid on my left side, and that's my bad eye, so I couldn't really see under the bed. Yeah, you. I, I, I just your seen, head peeking down. I just seen that shape, so I was like, all right, I reach for it, and <laughs> I, I touched it. I was like, oh no! <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I, I think I know what that is. I go grab some toilet paper and sure as shit, it's one of my fucking grand kittens. Grand kittens dead under the fucking dead under the bed. But like, don't get me wrong, the the grand kitten never lived. It was just it stayed dead under there. I don't know how the fuck it got under there because the other two were in the box. Can I tell you what your cat did today, bro? Oh no. Your cat today did, bro. Misty, I thought Misty was crazy, bro. I thought she, I thought she was losing it. I thought she. We get in this house. She had to pick me up from work. Couldn't find my keys this morning. They right. were in a jacket pocket, but <clears throat> couldn't find my keys. She drove me, and when she picked me up, we get home, and she was like, "Did you move my chicken?" And I was like, well, "What chicken?" Yeah, and I was like, "What?" And she was like, "Did you move my chicken?" And I was like, "No," and she was like. She shows me this bowl and she has a Ziploc bag of chicken and she's dethawing it. She's like, I swear I put two in here and now one is gone and I don't know what happened. I, and then it, it retracts a memory from my brain two minutes ago where I'm in the toilet and I'm hearing Misty cursing going, you fucking bitch. I know you took it. I know you fucking <laughs> took it. And, and then I come out, right? We're, we're, we're speeding up. And she goes, the fucking cat did it. And I go, what no there's no fucking chance in hell the cat grabbed a bag of a chicken breast and moved it there's not a chance and she was like i was like is it possible you only put one in there and maybe the other one's in the freezer is that a possibility yeah. she was like nope nope not not unless you took my damn chicken and i was like i didn't take your chicken and so you know like an hour goes by she makes a whole TikTok about it. We get a new chicken. She makes a TikTok about it. Yeah. We get a new chicken. And Aaron's just looking around. And he grabs under the shoes. And there's the fucking bag of chicken with fucking bite marks at the top. What the fuck? And this bitch grabbed it and moved it over there. I had no idea that cats were into it like that. I, I honestly, I didn't think she had the fucking grip strength in her jaws to Right, to hold it like that did she have was a breast did she have any food maybe she was just hungry about it <laughs> i think she does have some food you know I'm about to double check yeah it's been a block your cat's the only one resident right now <laughs> yours is just out i don't yeah she has been for a while i went out there kitty kitty nothing so we'll see you gotta pull up with a flashlight on the front front porch oh peek. mac light it huh yeah peek the side of the house you'll see some glowing eyes <laughs> you think so yeah I, I I went out there, bro. I said, when it was raining, I was like, you know, you don't want to be in this rain. <laughs> Come on. And nothing. I was like, all right. You're playing the hard game. I, I understand. <laughs> Sorry. If she never comes back, <clears throat> you can have my cat. <laughs> don't want it. Mm. Mm. You know, I want my cat because I care about life and I just didn't want to throw him out. And I don't want to... So you don't actually want the cat? You, no, I do want my cat. For it. No, I do want my cat. Like, if, if there's an option to have it, I want it. 
But I'm not opposed to her being a in and out cat. I just want to get her fixed first. Right. So I'm not dealing with this whole pregnant, die kittens, pregnant, die kittens, pregnant, die kittens. Right. You know what I mean? Maybe one day they'll survive. Well, maybe. And that's but I, honestly, I think this house is just too stressful for animals. Because <laughs> the damn lizard died because of the cats. <laughs> the damn kittens died because of the dogs. The fucking... The stress is high for animals here. I don't understand it. It's. I don't think the kitten just died because of the dog. Cause I would my, just say my cat stress was though. Up. Stress. No, uh, maybe. I think they're just too young to have kittens. Uh, yeah, every, and who are you, Doctor Fucking Phil? No, because every person that I was trying to pawn it off to, uh, last second, I was like, oh, she's pregnant, and they're like, oh, how old is she? I was like, you know, like almost like two, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah, almost two. I think she's. Old. I think they're over, like barely one. Yeah, barely one. Yeah, nah. So they're a little young, a little bit. And everybody always told me that. They're like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those cats will probably die. And I was like, ah. You're like, I'm not too worried about it. It's kind of fucked though, don't you think? Kittens die every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mom drowned a whole fucking kitten litter once. That's like what your aunt was in the pool. Me. Yeah, yeah. My mom, my mom wanted to see if they could float. No. Yeah, or yeah, <laughs> they they couldn't. But then my aunt tells a story where my mom was over here just like drowning them, he- head holding the kittens down, mm-hmm. and then like looking over and smiling like. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, some real making of a murderer type how, uh, shit. How does your mom tell the story? <laughs> that she took one kitten and drowned it on accident. And the rest of the people say a whole fucking litter. So I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think mom's just trying to fucking drown some guilt. You know, my mom, <laughs> it was, my mom killed kittens, but she almost died that way herself when she was like three. She fell into a river. And like almost drowned, and my grandma jumped in pregnant and like saved her. And now she's trying to waterboard these damn kids. <laughs> really? I shouldn't say try, she did. She fucking killed her. Yeah, I almost died in a pool once. It was actually pretty traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> you have trauma. Yeah. Let's hear it. So, fucking, uh, I don't even know. My uncle, I guess. Well, fucking uncle, th- uncle Bob? I think it was Uncle Rob. That- but like not That's what I meant Not white Uncle Rob Black Uncle Rob Wow you have two? Yeah I didn't know you had two Uncle Robs Yeah I think he threw me in the fucking pool And, <laughs> and I almost fucking drowned right then and there I remember it <laughs> I was what, pissed Were you like <laughs> I, I get Thrashing the, and crashing? I get to the fucking surface I'm coughing and shit could yeah. you just stand up or what? I, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't just, know. You just uh, I don't really remember somebody holding me there, so I think maybe I just stood up. <laughs> I don't know. I was pretty young. Though, so. and, and then how did this create trauma for you? Are you scared of I, pools I just, now? No, I just still remember it, so I had to have been a little traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> you just never forgot it? Yeah, never. That's crazy. I thought about it from here to there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about like that Damn, time, if that never happened I remember that time I almost drowned <laughs> yeah you would dramatify it like Dramat- that. I almost I, died no. Are you fucking <laughs> there was Rob there to get you, if you it, died. It, he was the one killing me all right <laughs> he fucking tried to drown me so at all at all moments right then it was done you were like fuck Rob or not but <laughs> <laughs> like you were like I don't even want you to save me <laughs> Even if you could, fuck you. That's fuck what, you. That's yeah. where you were at. I was pissed off about it. I remember that. <laughs> you probably got out of that pool so mad, bro. <laughs> that fucking Uncle Rob trying to fucking <laughs> kill me. And shit. Probably tell your mom too. That's <laughs> probably. probably the first thing you said. Was, I'm gonna tell my mom. <laughs> bro, everyone's scared of your mom. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She's, no. I don't know. She is kind of scary. From a distance, a and then she gets close to you, and you're like, "You're not gonna do nothing." <laughs> you know, you're just can't like, even hot wire "Yeah, I'm supposed to." You can't hot wire. <laughs> Talking all that shit. Do you think your mom still watches it? I don't know. We haven't dropped anything. We have actually. Uh, We've yeah. dropped like three things recently. I think she she really just watches the ones with like me and you though. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you know whose fault me and drama is? Mm-hmm. You do you have that shit in the Dropbox for her and Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. <laughs> Stop rocking back and forth, you little I fuck. Can't. I can't. God. Have you seen fucking um, Karate Kid, bro, where he's like, with the snake? And he's like, <laughs> yeah. like steel water. <laughs> you know? He's like, what you, you just said? Steel water? <laughs> I remember one time I went to go steal some water. <laughs> I came out with a scooter. <laughs> it's funny. No, yeah. like, steel water. Oh, still water. <laughs> <laughs> and then he does this shit. Right. Yeah, yeah, when you're doing this, all I get now but do is this too. <laughs> so I just fucking stop, you know? He said, now we're just both rocking. Yeah, back now and we're forth. both like headbanging for what? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, this has been fun. This has been a good time. This is good. You got anything left? Mm, I do. I've just been angry oh, <laughs> lately. Oh. Like, I've been getting. Get- Frustrated. I think that's the Mercury Gatorade. Oh my god! I even have that down here. Misty says it's from a moon thing. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I'm. Not, you know what? I told her today. I'm not gonna let some moon decide <laughs> and tell me how the fuck I feel and to verify that. That just make anger. you make you feel more justified with it. You know, like what? I don't need that like, justification. Yeah. I know, cause like, like. This morning, I couldn't find my keys. I was getting very upset. And in my head, I broke everything in the house. I just smashed it and broke it. And then I realized, like, I am an angry-ass motherfucker right now. Yeah. And I just got to just it's hold it So in. we're going to go wake up Misty, and she's going to drop me. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I did it all nicely when I didn't want to be nice. I just, it's this, it's hard. I, and then I was talking to Misty. I was like, I wonder where this root of anger comes from. <laughs> and then she starts Dr. filling me, and she goes, so what's going on and i was like well you know i don't know i'm just I've had some things i've been trying to do and i just keep procrastinating putting them off and she's like well, that's it and i was like what <laughs> excuse me she goes that's it you're upset because you're not getting the stuff done that you want to do and that's making you in whole angry and i was like oh <laughs> Oh, <laughs> have you tried doing that shit yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what? I stepped it. You know, I, the things I've been trying to do is I need to take the goddamn drill back to fucking Home Depot, replace the battery, and then while I'm at Home Depot, I also need to get a spare key. And that two things I've been saying, telling myself I need to do for like a week or two. So why don't you just bring the drill with you to work? Let's see, great plan. Couldn't find the keys this morning, so that really, huh? Angry. Was that part of your plan this morning? Yes. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. I bet if you left it, it in Misty's car. It was. Still would have taken that one home. Yep. I probably 100% would have. Because it's the fucking thing. I don't know why it's hard for me to do some things, but then it's easy for, for me to do some other things. Right. My mom was to. And then I asked Misty, I was like, do you think I have OCD? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do you think I have OCD? And she goes, why? And I go, because I obsess a lot about like little things. And she goes, well, I was like about movies and stuff. And she was like, well, I just, that's how you choose to spend your time. I wouldn't say it's OCD. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Pretty trying obsession. To, trying to self diagnose yourself. Bro. You sound like my sister. Uh, no. <laughs> if I, I got- sounded like your sister, I would have been in a hospital today, bro. <laughs> I had some fucking like chest pain and it was just kind of like tight. And my stomach was hurting, bro. But I was you like. You need to move your feet. <laughs> I, I, I don't like that. You're way into my side of the disc. And your Cash App card's on the floor. And you're kind of pissing me off right now, you know, Why? <laughs> because your feet are in my way. <laughs> there we go. If I was your sister, dude, you'd be in the hospital. Dead. Chest pains. I get that. Yeah. But, you know, I push through things. Unlike you, whose fucking feet are just need to be everywhere. Dude, dude, you're this, Mr. This fucking my, Millie. My area. Of all right. All right. Foot. All right. Fuck you in your area. Well, it's been a great episode, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Remember 50 likes? 25 likes. <laughs> That's what I meant. I meant to say 25 likes. Fuck. He that doesn't part. think you guys could do it. That's crazy. No. But 50 likes on the AJXO video. Let's get that, huh? 600 views by the oh, yeah. end of the fucking week, huh? 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 Hey, hopefully at the end of next month, I'll have some cool shit to be showing the people. I'm excited. Fuck you, Tony. It's Tony and Ethan. Saying bye. Have a wonderful time. (laughs) Have a wonderful day.